UV disinfection is using wavelengths in the germicidal range or the UVC range, so typically between 250 to 280 nanometers, and using those photons to penetrate the cell wall of a pathogen. A pathogen could be a bacteria, a fungi, a spore, a virus. And that photon is able to penetrate the cell wall and essentially break the DNA so that cell can no longer replicate, meaning it cannot infect a host. UVC LEDs in particular are really interesting because they allow you to build on what already exists. So traditional UV technology is very well known, has a great reputation, and now we're able to take that same foundation and apply a kind of a digital tech to it. So if you will, the older technology, that's your, your tube TV that no one owns anymore, and now you have the LEDs, which is that really digital space. And so we're going from uh, analog to digital. An LED will give you a lot more flexibility in your system design. That means that you're going to be able to turn that unit on and off as you need, explicitly when you need water dispensed. With a mercury system, you're kind of bogged down by this warm-up cycle. So that means that if you want water, you need to turn the mercury lamp on, then wait until it's at its full power before you can be dispensing water that will be treated adequately. Further than that, when you switch a mercury system on and off several times, you're going to degrade that bulb, which means you need to replace it faster. An LED, you can switch it an unlimited amount of times with no uh, effects on the system itself. So with a traditional system, uh, you're going to have a tube that emits both heat and light on the same surface at 360 degrees. In an LED, you get light out the front of the package and heat out the back. So heat can be managed as needed on the electronic side, and you will get only treatment to the water or the treatment target, uh, which is really great, especially in a water treatment application. No one wants to drink that warm slug of water. A product like this, it looks small and simple, but contained in here is advanced optical design, electrical design, sensing, it's verified with microbiology, it's got some really advanced mechanical design and stress. So we need all of this skill set across the company. Understanding the interaction between those and how to execute the vision is critical to us. AquaSense is different from all the other LED companies out there uh, because of our people. I hire engineers that are very creative. Uh, they come from a variety of different backgrounds. I purposely try to hire people that come from different industrial backgrounds. And I think that that makes our team um, more cohesive in a lot of ways and it brings a lot of different ideas to the table. Both engineers and scientists are equally important. You can't develop a product without engineers, and you can't develop a proper product without the science behind it. So it's really important that within each one of our product platforms, we really have engineering depth and differentiators. For example, in our research products, we're taking scientific knowledge and basis, engineering a solution which then brings forward science. Um, in our OEM integration products, the, the level of engineering involved to get a product that looks so simple but yet offers so many features and complexity is not trivial. The first company to put UV intensity monitoring directly within such a reactor, to have cooling, to have temperature feedback, to have um, alarm feedbacks all within a package that size. It looks simple, but it's not trivial. <laughs>